player, Hall of Famer, owner, now coach? Is there anything you can't do? Uh, a lot of things I can't do, but uh, as it comes to uh, hockey, I, I uh, uh, you know, it's been in my blood since I was three or four years old, and uh, I still love doing it. I love coaching the kids, uh, especially at that level. Uh, I've been doing it for uh, four or five years, and uh, it's been uh, uh, a lot of fun for me to try to teach these kids and uh, see how they uh, develop from uh, uh, beginning of the season to the end. And uh, uh, I think so far we've made a lot of progress, so it's. Uh, that's very sas satisfying uh, at the end of the day. What, uh, what kind of got you into it, Coach? Would you to get you back up on the bench? Well, my son, uh, and that's that's the only reason to, to be involved with my son. And, and uh, uh, it's been it's been a joy to, to be around him and, and uh, teach him, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that I uh, that I know, and, and to the other kids as well. So. Uh, uh, so when he started playing, I wanted to be involved in his uh, uh, hockey career, and, and uh, it's been a lot of fun for, for both of us. Does he play dad or coach? When you're dad, dad, yeah, dad. <laughs> uh, what is it like being able to take such an active role, you know, see him all the time, practices and everything? Like, not a lot of parents get an opportunity to have that with children. How special is that? Oh, it's been uh, very special to, to be able to be close to him and to, to te teach him uh, a lot of the stuff that, that I know. And uh, you know it's uh, it's pretty special. Not a lot of parents get to experience that uh, to be able to coach their son uh, at this level. So take an advantage of it. Uh, uh, and uh, the years are going by too too quickly. So uh, trying to savor every uh, every moment. What, uh, what type of coach did you say you are? Uh, I'm not a tough uh, coach on on the, on the kids. Uh, you know I don't uh, yell and scream. Uh, and uh, pretty calm behind the bench. So, uh, you know, at this level, I think uh, the main thing for them is to, to work hard and to learn the game, fundamentals of, of the game, and, and uh, that's what I try to do. And uh, as long as they work hard, uh, uh, win or lose, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, uh, if the effort is there. How much different is it behind the bench? I mean, have you kind of gained a whole new perspective on maybe some of the NHL coaches prior to? Or? Well, at this level, it's a little bit different than the NHL level. Uh, um, but uh, it is, it is uh, a difficult job uh, at the NHL level, I would imagine. Uh, for us, the game's a little slower, so you have more time to uh, make your decisions behind the bench. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's another side of the game and uh, something that I enjoy doing. But the gear turns on them. I mean, they're all coaching now. You know, you for guys. It's just kind of a natural thing for... Yeah, I think so. I think uh, a lot of the tournaments we go to, we see uh, uh, players that I, that I uh, played against, and they all have uh, kids about the same age. And, uh, so everywhere we go, we, we, we see old faces that we used to battle on the ice, and uh, now we're we're buddy buddy. So it's uh, it's much easier on our our body anyway. What about the win out there tonight? Yeah, the kids are playing well. We uh, we haven't lost a game uh, so far here uh, in this tournament, and uh, we have another game this afternoon. Uh, uh, but the kids are playing well. They're uh, starting to turn the corner. Really, uh, uh, from a month ago, we're playing a lot better, and it's uh, it's very encouraging. Two last questions. One, uh, being able to play here at Casal and have the new building, the arena host, uh, amateur tournament. What's mm -hmm. like being behind the bench here for the new room? Oh, it's special. I mean, this arena is uh, a special place. Uh, everybody loves it, and uh, to be uh, able to uh, stand behind the bench and uh, be a part of a, a great little tournament here for the '96 uh, Elite. Uh, it's fun, and, and the kids, you can see it, uh, to have a chance to play in this building where the Penguins play, it's, uh, uh, it's really a special feeling for them. And lastly, the Penguins have done a lot to reach out to amateur hockey. This being another step, uh, mm -hmm. just talk about the Penguins and their ability to reach out and kind of grow the sport yep. in the region. Well, I think it's important for the Penguins to reach out to the kids and, and grow the game as much as we can here in Pittsburgh, and it's, uh, uh, we've come a long way over the last uh, 20 years. Uh, I remember coming here, uh, you know, my first year. We only had a couple of rinks that uh, you could skate. Now, a lot of rinks uh, uh, around the city, that was Pittsburgh, and uh, a lot more kids playing, uh, a lot better players, and uh, it's very encouraging. But uh, I think we need to do as much as we can to, um, you know, to go back to these young kids growing up, and, and uh, I think we're we're doing a pretty decent job so far. Amazing how much it has flourished. Yeah, uh, I mean, it took took a few years to, to flourish, but uh, I think we've come a long way, and, and uh, you can see it uh, now. There's there's a few kids in the NHL that uh, grew up in Pittsburgh, which is nice to see, and I think we're going to see a lot more in the future. All right, you're welcome.